Welcome to Reedy Glacier, Antarctica. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent on Earth, with an area of about 5.4 million square miles, almost one and a half times as large as the United States. From space, Antarctica looks white because over 98% of the continent is covered by ice, and that ice is about a mile deep on average. Antarctica is divided into East and West Antarctica by the Transantarctic Mountains. Glaciers in Antarctica, like glaciers everywhere, are actually rivers of ice, and like rivers of water, they flow, although the ice flows much more slowly than water. Reedy Glacier flows from the East Antarctic Ice Sheet through the Transantarctic Mountains and empties into the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. Reedy Glacier is about 100 miles long and varies between 6 and 12 miles in width. Reedy Glacier, by the way, was named after an American, Rear Admiral James R. Reedy, who worked in Antarctica from 1962 to 1965. The West Antarctic Ice Sheet, into which Reedy Glacier flows, has a volume of ice that's about 528,000 cubic miles. To get an idea what that means, picture a box filled with ice that is 81 miles high, 81 miles wide, and 81 miles deep. That's about the distance on each side from Acadia National Park to Camden, Maine, traveling along coastal roads. That is an awful lot of ice. And it's sitting on land, not floating in water like an iceberg, so that if the West Antarctic ice sheet were to melt completely, it would add another 20 feet or so to the height of the world's oceans, which would have an enormous effect on islands and coastal cities in Maine and around the world. This is where our story takes place.